Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video clip, we will discuss frequency selective filters. There are various types of digital filters based on the range of frequencies that they allow and the range of frequencies that they block. For examples, we are going to discuss filters like low pass, high pass, band pass, and then some specific filters like notch filter, comb filter, all pass filter etc right now we are not going to the design detailed design procedure of the filters we may design filters by simply choosing poles and zeros in the specific locations in the z and we are going to do this based on the nature of the filter that we want at the end of the design procedure but nowhere we are going to discuss a specific type of design or a detailed design procedure to design any of these filters so the, before we start we have to understand that how poles and zeros uh, of any system function or the transfer function affect the nature of the system or nature of the filter in this case so for this once again we will make use of uh, relationship between z domain and the frequency domain that we have already discussed before so if i consider two dimensional z plane in which uh, real axis is the horizontal axis and this vertical axis is nothing but imaginary axis then we know that anything which is on the positive real axis will have omega equal to zero on this uh, positive imaginary axis corresponds to omega equal to pi by two negative real axis correspond to omega equal to pi and uh, because all these filters that we are discussing are practical systems they will have real valued impulse response h of n and hence we may just discuss the magnitude and phase response for the range omega equal to zero to omega equal to pi because in the range omega equal to zero to minus pi magnitude response will be even function and all this uh, phase response will be the odd function now one very important point which is associated with the transfer function or the system function is poles and zeros poles are nothing but roots of the denominator polynomial when equated to zero and zeros are the roots of the numerator polynomial when equated to zero how zero and pole affect the nature of the system function when i consider a pole point because it makes denominator zero it will maximize the magnitude function that means if i consider a pole point if i put a pole value in the system function then the magnitude of the system function will become infinite because denominator becomes zero so whenever i want to maximize the magnitude or uh, response of the system i will consider poles in that particular range of frequencies on the other hand zeros when i consider a zero point when i put a zero point in the system function then the magnitude of the system function will become zero because zeros are roots of the numerator that means whenever i want magnitude response to become zero i will consider a zero point in that particular range of frequencies so this simple nature uh, or the relationship of pole zeros with respect to the magnitude function can help help us to not just analyze but also approximately design all these filters that i just now mentioned low pass high pass etc so let us start with the uh, discussion on low pass filters and high pass filters first so what do we know about low pass filter an ideal low pass filter will have its frequency characteristic something like this when i say frequency response or frequency characteristic it will consist of magnitude response and the phase response but right now we are only interested in the magnitude response because that decides the nature of the filter so ideal low pass filter will have a response which is equal to one from zero to some cutoff frequency omega c and from omega c to pi the response will be zero so this is the nature uh, in two-sided representation this will be minus omega c and somewhere here will be minus pi on the other hand how will the high pass filter frequency response will look like so high pass filter frequency response will be completely opposite up to omega c it will be zero and then up to pi it will be a constant value equal to let's say one so same holds true here also on the negative side so this is minus pi plus pi and this is minus omega c so that's the response of the high pass filter 